All right, so today we're going to see how to find the minimum in an array, okay? This is a fairly easy task. If we have an array called numbers here with numbers 4, 1, 8, 3, and 5, and we know that positions start at 0, so this here is numbers sub 0, this one is numbers sub 1, this one's numbers sub 2, numbers sub 3, and numbers sub 4, okay? Well, if we know this, we can say, for example, number sub 2 is 8, right? 0, 1, 2. Notice how even though there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements in the array, their indices are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the indices of the array go from 0 to the length of the array, which is 5, minus 1 to 4. So go from 0 to 4. Although there's 5 elements, the indices go from 0 to 4. Now, let's go to our task. Find the minimum of this array. You can, watch, you can look at the array and say, oh, the minimum here is 1, right? But how can we do this programmatically? Well, here's, here's an idea. Let's take the first number, which would be number sub 0, which is 4, and let's put number sub 0 here as the minimum. Let's assume that this number sub 0 is the minimum. And then we'll start from numbers sub 1, seeing if number sub 1 is less than the minimum. If it's less than the minimum, we'll replace the minimum. So, let's do it. Is number sub 1 now? What's number sub 1? Is 1. Is 1 less than my minimum? Yes. Okay, then I'll replace the minimum with that number. Now I'm going to go explore number sub 2, which is 8, correct. So number sub 2, which is 8, is this less than my minimum? No, it is not. Let's continue increasing the index down here to 3. What is number sub 3? You guessed it, it's 3. So is 3 less than my minimum? No, it is not. Okay, let's move on, increase this index to... 4. Number sub 4 is actually 5, right? Here. So, um, so is 5 less than 1? No, it is not. Therefore, we keep it like this. Now we want to increase this to 5, but there's no number sub 5. Remember, numbers go from 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 only. There's no number sub 5 over here. So we'll only go to one less than the total number of elements. Okay, so um, once we're done with all the elements, the minimum should be here. Okay, this min should contain the minimum. So let's do this in code. Here's a code that does this. First we declare an integer which is this numbers with the exact same numbers. And we're going to find the minimum. First, we declare a min variable and we initialize it to the first element of the array. Then we're going to do a loop. We're going to have a little counter that will go from one all the way to until that counter is less than, as long as that counter is less than the total number of elements, which is five. Well, what is less than five? Starting from 1, what is less than 5? Well, 1, 2, 3, and 4, which coincidentally is the same, is, are the indices of the elements we want to explore. Uh, if this part is not clear, go back to the part where I do this manually using this image. Now, what I'm going to do is, as I go from 1 to 4, I'm going to check whether numbers sub 1, numbers sub 2, numbers sub 3, and so on, whether numbers sub whatever, is less than my minimum. If number sub something, so an element of the array, is less than my minimum, well then my new minimum becomes that number. Right? So first I had the first number here is 4, so my minimum is going to be initialized to 4. Once I go to this element, this is 1. 1 is going to be less than 4, therefore my minimum should be updated to be to be 1. That's where this update does. Take a look at it. If the number that I'm actually currently examining is less than my minimum, then my minimum should become that number. Okay? 
If the number is not less than the minimum, well, do nothing. Just continue with this for loop. Once you're done, your minimum would be in the variable min, just like in the diagram that I showed you, and we'll print it. So let's compile this and run it, and you'll see that the minimum is 1.